What color is his hat? Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I got another vintage collection pack for you. This time we're going to be dealing with the Game Boy Color. Pretty cool system. Um, a lot of games I've never experienced until I used emulation to experience them. And uh, there's actually quite a few good games for the system. Um, and for anyone who doesn't have vintage collection yet, go ahead and check the top right hand corner of your screen right now. Uh, and you can click that and get the vintage collection build as well as you can go through my channel on YouTube here and check out all of the other packs um, that have been released for Vintage Collection so far as well as more to come in the future. Um, so basically the Game Boy Color uh, I think I think this is a great little pack um, I've actually enjoyed more games on the Game Boy Color since I've been building this pack because I like to test things and then I put in a little bit of gameplay and make sure stuff's running great um, and, and I just happen to pick games that I've never heard of before to see if I like them. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this installed into our Vintage Collection build, and we'll check it out. So, first thing you're going to want to do um, is go to the link in the description, and that's going to take you to download a text file. You're going to get the Vintage Collection Game Boy Color Pack link.txt. All you want to do is open that up and highlight everything inside just like so right click copy and go ahead and paste that into your web browser once you do that you'll be able to download the vintage collection Game Boy color pack dot zip and all you have to do is right click on it and you're gonna need WinRAR to extract here or 7-zip you can also click extract here so I'm not gonna do that I've already done it and once you do it, you'll have a Vintage Collection folder inside. You'll see there's two folders. So the, the Game Boy Color is going to overwrite a file within your Rocket Launcher settings, but it only changes the settings for this particular system. It doesn't change anything else. Um, and this is to make sure that Game Boy Color is going to run correctly and all the settings are good to go. And then the Games folder, GBC, you're going to have all your artwork and all your games ready to rock and roll. So. What we'll do is go back to where we've extracted the Vintage Collection folder. We're going to take it, right click, cut, and we're going to go to the root of H where you can see your Vintage Collection. So make sure you're not inside of your Vintage Collection. Make sure you can see the folder, you're in the root of H, and then just right click and paste it on in there. Now it's going to ask you to overwrite that emulators.ini file. You're going to go ahead and replace file and destination. So confirm that it's going to overwrite. This shouldn't take too long. There we go. And uh, let's check it out. So I'm going to make sure that I'm muted. There we go. Don't want no copyright strikes. Alright, so, sorry, I was just enjoying my tea there. Open up Game Boy Color. So I've gone with 2D cart art and 3D box art. Um, <clears throat> I did that. If you're familiar with the Vintage Collection packs, um, I, I normally go with whatever artwork I can find the most of. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, that way you guys can have more games to enjoy. So, what we'll do, and there's a couple Tomb Raider games on here as well. Um... You know, if you're going to compare them to the PlayStation Tomb Raider games or something, obviously this was just a, a little handheld system, so they're not as in depth, but they're they're good in their own right. So here's some Tony Hawk. There are a lot of games. I mean, a lot. Here's a Top Gun game. I was actually playing this a little bit, and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty fun. So, um, I'm not going to go through the entire list, but we're looking at 534. So, 534 games. Um, really, really, a, you know, just an awesome little pack. It's very small, 1.4 gigabytes to download. Um, and, you know, most of that is due to the size of the snaps. So... The games themselves are fairly small. So we're going to go ahead and launch one up just to show you everything's working. It's running through RetroArch.
and you know I'm, I'm experiencing the handhelds more and more through emulation and really enjoying them um, whether it be the Virtual Boy, the Game Gear, uh, the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, Minish Cap, uh, I've, I've completed Minish Cap but it's a game that I could go back and play again so I really like that for the for the Game Boy Advance but as you can see everything's running perfectly um, <clears throat> and your controls should already be set up um, from the initial setup from the Vintage Collection release so we'll go ahead and back out and sometimes launching and backing out it seems slow in the videos but believe me it's not it's only because I'm recording and my laptop can only do so much at one time because it is not the greatest so the Toy Story game is pretty fun uh, you know Toy Story Racer, this this was actually the one um, that I wanted to start playing with my son because I thought it was a pretty cool little game, uh, nice little Game Boy Color game, and uh, I really enjoyed it, and then we could also search, and we could do Zelda. So you get uh, Link's Awakening DX, the Oracle of Ages, and the Oracle of Seasons. So, pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> it's not one of the larger packs. It is a nice little pack for someone to enjoy. Definitely check this out. And go ahead and check out a bunch of other packs for Vintage Collection. And uh, hopefully you enjoy those systems. There's a lot more to come. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends about me. Uh, I have, I've, I've got a channel that I do a whole bunch of different stuff. And uh, I'm just trying to get my name out there as much as possible. Um, over 2,000 subscribers, which is pretty cool. So uh, reaching that 2,100 mark soon. Um, uh, most importantly, guys, have a good day.